Okay, I'm back. We have our money back here. So let us get our things down. Oh, crap. And see about getting some healing. And then I will try this one more time. And it is nice that these are reoccurring bosses, even during the wave. It In that way, it's kind of like a... It is kind of like the Flying Dutchman, that the bosses just keep reappearing. So you don't have to just keep uh, summoning them or anything. Holy crap. Oh, need to heal, need to heal. But my uh, timer is off, damn it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I need some healing, desperately. Crap, 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 crap. Ah, here we go. Protect me, O oh tree of awesome. Ow, no. Okay, didn't protect me, O oh tree of awesome. Okay, here we are again. Let us get our ice guy down again, and hopefully, uh, we can get this friggin' uh, another one of these. Anyone? Anyone? Anywhere? I don't know. Let's just keep clearing the wave, and hopefully, we can get another one of those flying saucers to show up, so we can kill it. And maybe, just maybe, oh, look at this. Oh, I need to get some healing. I'm about to die. Ooh. Get some healing! Vampire knives! Give me their delicious life. Give me their lifey goodness. Ow. I'm not sure how you can drain life from a machine. I mean, are the machines alive? Are they truly alive? Can they truly be said to be alive? I don't know. Are they artificial intelligences? I mean, they are just giant walking robot things, so I'm not really sure. Is it draining from the people piloting them? I don't know. Oh crap, ow, ow, ow. But, here we go. Let us get our stuff going. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Haha. -ha. You missed me. You missed me by a mile. Okay. Ow, 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 they're hitting me. Okay, let's try this. Come on. Come on. Ow! Ooh, crap. And missiles. And then a laser beam, which I can easily avoid. Uh, and then laser blasts. And then missiles, which are about to come at me. Followed by this thing. Oh, crap. Got it, got it. Yes, 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 we did. Very nice. Let us see if we can get yet another kill on this guy. Come on. Come on, you beautiful piranha gun. Help me out here. Give me what I need. Give me a friggin' mount. That would be lovely. One mount. One beautiful mount. Or at the very least, something I didn't already have. Come on, something I don't already have. Nope. Uh, something good. Ow. Yes. Did I get something good out of that? <gasps> Electrosphere launcher. Holy crap, we already have another one. I just finished one, and now I have another to deal with. Was not expecting that. Uh, boom. Okay. Where is he? Where is he? I see you. Well, I don't see you. I hear you. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, let's see. Oh, crap. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Missiles, followed by laser blast. Laser beam blast. Laser beam blast is the easiest one to avoid. Kind of. As long as you're ready for it and you're paying attention, you can easily get by it. Kind of. Most of the time. Well, sometimes. Uh, the missiles can be incredibly annoying, though. So, yeah. Ooh, crap. Ow, ow, ow. And now... We just need to get him down, get those last couple pieces off of him. Ow, ow, crap, ow, oh no. And then we can get our guy back on. Come on. Get our piranha gun. There we go. Got him. Yes, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, maybe being here isn't the best idea. In fact, I know it's not the best idea. Because I don't want things to spawn underneath me. And I want to be able to get the loot as soon as it drops. So let's head over above our house and wait around for our piranha gun to kill him yet again. 
Holy crap. <gasps> and watch the dancing walker robot kind of just dance and on top of our heads. Look at that. He's just freaking dancing. He's dancing. He's dancing. Ooh, what did I get this time? I don't know. But, uh, yeah. We're up to 73%. Uh, as long as I don't kill a lot of stuff, I might actually be able to just sit here and farm. Anti-gravity hook. Huh? So it's a new hook. Okay. So I got me a new hook. Woo! What? Oh, it doesn't actually work as a hook? Ah, it's a cosmetic hook. Okay. Uh, that does kind of suck, though. So, yeah. So I can't put it... I don't get it. <gasps> Equipable, but it doesn't actually do anything. I'm confused. I'll have to take a look at it once I'm done here. So let's see if we can get another one of these killed and maybe get them out. Okay, there we go. We got yet another boss dead, another flying saucer dead and just in the nick of time too because holy crap we are dead and I got another anti-gravity hook as uh, useless as that actually is um, what else can I dump out of my inventory I guess I could get rid of these uh, greater healing potion okay well at least they drop tons of greater healing potions which I don't really need but yeah it is nice it is nice to get them uh, anything else good here uh, I don't see anything. Uh, I don't know why I hit B, but I did, and I drank every single potion I had, which is unfortunate, because I didn't really need to do that. So, let's empty our... Well, let's first let us put down all these banners, and let's actually take a look at this grappling hook I got. So, yeah. It actually wo it does work. It wasn't working before. And... What? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh. Okay. So, when I use it, it doesn't actually bring me completely to where I want to go. It just kind of leaves me hanging in the middle. Uh, Anti-gravity grappling hook. Huh. So far, that was kind of nice. I mean, the sword is very nice. I mean, look at this. Holy crap, I could actually... Uh, I could use it to swing around. Holy crap, I did not think of that. Uh, let's see, bop. And a bop. So I can use it to swing around. Look at this. Anti-gravity. Oh, look at this. Awesome. I wonder, is this actually useful for anything? I wonder if I could use this as... It's <laughs> a dodge away from uh, Duke Fishron. Just kind of swing around like this. Uh, that might actually be a good strategy. I might try that once I uh, empty my inventory a little bit. Oh, but damn it. Look at all these banners and stuff I got. I need to put them down. Let's go ahead and do that right now. I'll put them down right here with all the other banners like that. So, I got a Martian banner, boom. A Martian banner, boom. Uh, a officer banner, officer banner, and a gray grunt banner. I think I might actually have one or two of those already. Do I? I don't think so. So, yeah. Uh, ooh, here we go. Another section of banners filling up this area, which should give me a bit more protection, a bit more uh, stuff to help me defend and kill those guys next time I get in trouble with it. But yeah, is the anti-gravity actually worth worthwhile? I mean, look at this. All I have to do is swing around like this, and I might actually be able to use it to dodge. Uh, I wonder... Ooh, I could just swing back and forth like this. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, okay, that's a bit unusual. Okay, let's go put down our stuff, and then I will get back over 
and hopefully try and fight uh, Duke Fishron one more time. So let's get this one down. Ba Boom. Let's empty out our inventory a little bit, and then I'll get rebuffed and head over. Okay, before I head over, I want to take a look and see what this is. The Electrosphere Launcher. Now, apparently, it takes 382. It takes rockets. It uses rockets to fire. Holy crap. What is that? Is it like a static damage thing? I fire it. It explodes. Creates a sphere that just deals damage constantly. Oh, that's very nice. That's actually fairly nice. Um, yeah. I didn't get a chance to look at it while I was fighting, but that is fairly nice. It does use up uh, rockets as ammunition, though. That actually could come in handy with uh, uh, Duke Fisheron, maybe. So I'll keep that out. In fact, I might reforge it. Uh, I did reforge the Xeno Staff, got Godly on it, got Legendary on the Influx, now it's up to 187. Look at this massive speed on this. Holy crap, awesome. Awesome. So these are the little flying saucer guys. Uh, I'm not really sure how useful they are in comparison to like the Deadly Spheres. So I'm going to give them a shot with Duke Fishron this time and see how well they perform. So let me go put down this very last banner and I'll head over. Okay, I am down to my very last truffle worm. I've tried this five times so far. I tried it with the uh, little flying saucer thing. They do a ranged attack, which is nice, but they don't do nearly as much damage as the spheres, which is unfortunate, so I'm just going to be sticking with that. Uh, let's see. So let us get our buffs on, and I will give one more shot, one very last shot, to fighting Duke Fishron. Uh, let's get our thing back up there, get a honey buff, and summon him up. And I'll quickly put down my clouds. Come on. Boom! And a cloud, and a cloud. I just need to hopefully, hopefully, come on. I mean, he can charge at me faster than I fall, which is funny, because I'm trying to get away from him just by dropping down from the ground, and he's charging at me faster than I can actually move away from him. Uh, this sucks. This really does suck, for the simple fact. Oh, crap. Haha. Oh. Right there, I was just trying to get away from him. I had just used my dodge, my uh, dash thing, so I couldn't do it. Uh, this is really not going as well as I had hoped. Ooh, come on. Come on! Ooh, go down, go down, go down! Ah, there we go. Uh, can't see where he is. Uh, crap, crap, crap. What was that? I saw something on the floor there. Was it one of my heart lanterns? Uh, yeah, I think it was. No, it's just a random heart. Okay. This is not good. Not good at all. I'm going to have to use up my healing potion. I did not want to do this this early. Simply because... Oh, crap. Okay, I'm going to have to grab those hearts that are down there. Uh, crap, no! Oh, crap. Okay. Fall down. Come on. Ah, here we go. I think they are dropping hearts, which is nice, but not as helpful as I would really like it to be. Crap. Ah. I always get to this phase, and then I just cannot dodge out of his way. That's the real problem, the dodging out of his way, because he goes invisible, and you have a split second to react, to dodge, to do that charge, that charge thing out of its way. Unfortunately, I just can't do it. I just cannot get it down. I'm not sure what it is. I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I just suck. I don't know. But, yeah. I am out of truffle worms yet again. And I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> because I can't do it. I just can't do it. I just can't get him down. It's that invisibility. I can't see where he's coming from. He just appears and charges at me and I die. 
So, yeah. Ah. Uh, ah, well. Uh, I'm not really sure what I want to do, so I guess I'm just going to take a break here and maybe come back next time. And then maybe try and figure out what it is I want to do. I mean, what I could do is actually... Uh, what I could do is take a look at some of the other stuff and give the uh, Duke Fisher on a uh, rest for right now because I am not really in the mood to go down there hunting more truffle worms and then trying to fight him even more just to die again and again and again. <laughs> uh, maybe I could take a look at the Frost Moon or the Pumpkin Moon event because you don't actually have to be in the holiday season to do it. You just have to uh, have the materials to make the medallions, and I think I do. I just need uh, ectoplasm, which I have. Souls of Fright, I think. Uh, yes, I have 23 Souls of Fright. Uh, hallowed bars, and I think cloth. And then I can make the present and the pumpkin medallion, and actually summon the pumpkin event and the frost mood event and I might be able to take a look at those next week uh, I think that might be what I do just because there is an achievement to survive all the way to uh, wave 15 so if you survive to wave 15 you get an achievement I've never gotten that achievement so I kind of want to do that so yeah I might do that next week I'm not really sure or I might just go hunting more trouble worms and give Duke Fisher on another try. I don't know. Uh, but yeah. This was actually a pretty good item. Unfortunately, I don't think it would work very well for Duke Fisher on since these are stationary. And, uh, yeah. He just moves around way too much. Ah, uh, you can't have more than like four or five of them. Ah, uh, you can't have more than four. I was trying to do a smiley face. The eyes the nose, and a mouth. Unfortunately, you can't do it. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, well. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Bobson. This has been more of a terraria. And until next time, I will see you later. Bye.